Hi guys, I'm back with my first review after a not eight, nine month or so break. And in this review, I'm looking at the Glen Scotia double cask. So, as we know, the Glen Scotia Distillery is from the Campbelltown region of Scotland. And the double cask is a non-age statement, and it's the entry level non-age statement whiskey um, from the distillery. And so, we don't know how old um, the, the whiskey is in this bottle. However, it does say on their website that it is finished in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks final 12 months of its uh, maturation. So on the nose, okay now, now the first thing that you, you get is some really nice sweet toffee and this caramels as well. So that, that will come from the added colouring that's added to the whiskey. And then there's a hint of salt as well. So the, the, the caramel turns into like a salted caramel. And then hiding behind that is the, some raisins um, and a nice hint of plum as well, and maybe a little bit of orange, which will come from the, the, the sherry cask that, um, that, it's mature, um, that it's finished in. So yeah, it's really nice on a nose. This it's there's not too much to think of, think about on this. Um, it's not really overly complex at all. Um, it's 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 really nice and pleasant um, and quite easy on a nose. Okay, so on to the palate, slancher. It's got a really nice mouthfeel for a non-age statement whiskey. Um, you can tell it's not a 40% ABV uh, at the, the lowest um, that you, whiskey um, that you can get. Yeah, you can really tell it's, it's got a really nice um, 40, 46%. Yeah, so like I said, it's got a really nice mouthfeel. <clears throat> the toffee notes really come to life on this. Um, there's lots of creamy caramel as well. Um, vanilla fudge, hint of chocolate, um, sorry, chocolate, there's a hint of salt um, on the palate, just like on the nose. Let's try again. Maybe it's a very, very tiny, tiny hint of chocolate. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But there's, the fruit are now starting to come through. Um, small hint of apple, um, okay, orange zest and plums. And then, and then there's, there's a little bit of pepper, um, pepper spice that really warms the tongue. Um, Gives it a nice tingle. Um, it's, it's really nice as a palette. So this is a great example of a Campbelltown whiskey, and it's definitely an everyday sipper, especially if you can get it as low as what I've seen, thirty pounds. And for that entry level bottling, I think this is brilliant. Now, depending on what else you have in your collection, I. But for me personally, this is one that I will definitely be looking to replace once I've finished the bottle. So yes, uh, a, a definite recommendation from me. So um, I, if you've tried this whiskey, please let me know in the comments. And if you're thinking about, about getting a bottle again, please let me know. Um, and when you do, let me know your thoughts. I'd be interested to know. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to keep an eye out for more videos. 
but you can do that by hitting that bell notification icon and why not subscribe and hit the like button to help my channel grow um, but thanks very much for watching and cheers <laughs>